This is a series of videos on the foundations of arithmetic algebra and graphing with the focus on real life interpretation and application. I'm Bill Kinney. It's video number 46 of that series, which is part five of a sub series on algebra formulas, functions, and graphing with an emphasis on spreadsheet usage. We're still not to spreadsheets yet, but we'll be hopefully soon. Um, and my philosophy with this sub-series is that I'm trying to do all these things, algebra, formulas, functions, and graphing, kind of all at once within each example we consider. In the previous video, we considered an example with depreciation. You buy a new car for $25,000. Its value goes down over time uh, to $21,500 after one year. So we're pretending now one year has gone by. Now we're going to estimate its values th three years after we bought it and also estimate it which would be two years from now, and also estimate it when its, when its value will be $6,000. And I took an approach to say, well, let's just try to make a graph of the situation first. Um, we see that after, well, at, when we bought it, it was up at $25,000 in value, and it's decreasing down to $21,500 in value. And, it, and I assumed, perhaps wrongly, but I made the assumption that it would be a straight line depreciation, that its value would go down by a straight line here over time. That might be a wrong assumption, but it's the simplest assumption to make, and will get us an answer, an estimate, as quick as possible. This graph is the graph of some formula, if you will, some equation, some function, and I introduced function notation in the last one. This says v equals f of t. f is not a number. T and V are variables that represent numbers. F does not represent a number. It's not a variable. It is a name of the function. And when you want to estimate the value of the car after three years, you write it symbolically like this. What's the value V when T equals three? V equals F of three represents the value. And we can estimate that by saying, okay, I'm plugging T equals three into the function. I can estimate the output for that input by going to the, to the graph, going to 3 on the horizontal axis, going up to the graph, and then over to the vertical axis. I estimated that it was about $14,800. That was actually not completely accurate. I purposely did not do it accurately. So that, um, just to emphasize that this kind of visual approach will necessarily um, lead to some errors in estimations. So can I find a formula for f of t? That's my goal here in this video, and then to, to use that. And the answer is you can. It turns out that linear functions like this have formulas that are often written in this kind of form. f of t equals some number m times t. I'm not going to put a dot in there. I could, but it's traditional not to. You should realize this is not mt, it's not a variable called mt, it's m times t plus some other number that is often called b. m turns out to be the slope. Now I introduced you to the idea of a slope in another video. I wrote it as rise over run in that other video because that uh, evokes some memories you may have from the past. I'm going to write it differently in this video. It's the change in the dependent variable, in this case v, divided by the change in the independent variable, in this case t. That is often written in math and science and other applications as in this kind of way. Delta v divided by delta t. The delta, this, this triangle is a Greek letter, it's a capital delta, and it, this is the traditional way to write change in a quantity, change in v divided by change in t. In essence, we're not doing a multiplication here, by the way, delta, it's not delta times v, it's not delta times t, it's delta v, that is one variable, if you will, divided by delta t, that is another second variable, I am doing the division of delta v divided by delta t here. Anyway, with straight lines, this will be constant. It doesn't matter what points you pick. You may as well pick these, these two points, since that's what we know. 
What's the change in V? The value of V starts at 25,000 and goes down to 21,500. It's a negative change, application of negative numbers. The new value of V is 21,500. The old value, the starting value of V was 25,000. That's a negative difference. It's a negative change, graphically indicating that the graph is going downward. It's a decreasing function. What's the change in T? T starts at 0 and goes up to 1, so that changes 1 minus 0. This is negative 3,500. It's got units. What are the units? The units for a division like this are units for the top quantity divided by units for the bottom quantity. The units for the top are in dollars. The units for the bottom are in years. Negative $3,500 per year. That's how much the value of the car is going down every year. And actually, with this, I can certainly answer the first question pretty quickly without finding a formula. If it's going down by $3,500 every year, and may, you know, maybe you saw this is what to do right away, and that I would commend you if you did. You just subtract 3,500 three times to get $14,500. Of course, that's equivalent to subtracting three times 3,500, 14,500. But that, if you saw to do that, that's great. That's essentially the formula. You essentially use the formula for the function here in doing so. f of t, the slope is negative 3,500. That's the value of m. That gets multiplied by t. And the b, come back over here, Essentially, the three, th negative sign in the 3,500, that's the slope, and the 3 was the t. b is 25,000. b is the starting value of the car. It's the value when t equals 0. So there's the function. And by the way, it's fine to also write the v equals here as well. That will give you the value of the car at whatever time you want. As far as answering the questions with the formula, to estimate the time, the value after three years, we already did that with the calculator, and it was obtained essentially by plugging 3 in for the function. V equals F of 3, plug in 3 in place of T, do a negative 3,500 times 3, and then add 25,000. Order of operations is essential there. You've got to do the multiplication first. The cali this kind of calculator does that. When I write it like that, I could have also written it as negative 3 times 2,500 or th negative 3,500 times 3 plus 25,000 to get the same answer of 14,500. Um, I already essentially used the formula. What about the other question? Estimate when its value will equal $6,000. There we're trying to find time. T is unknown and V is known. It's just a matter of algebra. Use the formula down here. Replace V with 6,000 and solve for T. Do some algebra to solve for T. So then I'll do that now. Pretty quickly here. You might want to stop the video actually and see if you can do it on your own. If you're back, great. This is the equation I want to solve for t. Um, that, it's, a, it's called a linear equation in t, and it, the graph was a straight line. There's a reason for that. It's because it was a linear function, first power of t. I did have a constant term. I want to solve such an equation by isolating t on one side by itself. So, for example, I want to get the, get rid of the 25,000 on the right side. I can do that by subtracting 25,000, but to, if I do it to one side, I have to balance by doing it to the other side. Working with negative numbers here, so that, that's fine. 6,000 minus 25,000 is negative 19,000. 
Over here, we literally do get cancellation. That is correct to call that cancellation. And I'm left with a negative 3,500 T. Now divide both sides by negative 3,500. Oops. The negative 3,500s divide out. Sometimes you say cancel, but I think it's better to say divide out there. They become a 1 when you do that. 1 times t is just t. And on the left, the negative signs will divide out, if you will, because they're in a sense they're like two negative ones. 19,000 divided by 3,500, that's by the way the same as 19 divided by 3.5. 5.43, actually that looks like it would be 5 and, what would that be, 3 sevenths? But I'll just write it as approximately 5.43 years. So that's our approximation for how long it's going to take for the car to uh, depreciate to $6,000.